Good morning. Welcome into Tommy Bites. How are you guys doing? So I thought I'd take you to the Walmart um, in Spartanburg, South Carolina. I want you to notice if you make it to the end of the video, because it does help when y'all watch the video all the way through and hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope that you decide to subscribe, hit that red button, and turn your notifications on. But pay attention to the guy at the end. The guy at the end, you know, when you don't have things backed up, they want to check your receipt. So, when so I, when I walked up to him to give him my receipt, he was like, with a smile, of course. He had a nice personality, and he said, "So is that all you gonna? Does that the best you can do?" And started laughing because you know I didn't get a lot in there. I'm on a budget, um, and I was like, um, "Yes." But if you want to go shopping with me and you pay for it, I'll go back in the store. And so he was like, um, I left my credit card at home. So I say all that to say this. More and more Americans are using their credit cards to buy food because they just don't have that cash on hand. Or, you know, they're in between paychecks or they're just budgeting. But eventually that bill comes due. You know, that bill comes due. I try to use my experience. So let's all try to create that grocery budget um, and maybe have to cut out some things. So let's jump into the video, walk through the store with me. You can tell that they have placed some things where they shouldn't be because they aren't running low, very low on a lot of things, but they're trying to make it look full. So y'all, I tried to do this video live, but for some reason, every time I try to do a live, it jumps off. So I'm just going to do a video. I'm at the Walmart in Spartanburg. Um, Some place I've never been before. So I wanted to see what it looked like in here. Sorry about that. Reflection makes it hard to see, so I'm gonna open it up so you can see in here. So we got ground beef over here. We have these little small ones. This is a pound for four dollars and forty-seven cent. It says use a freeze by the third that's tomorrow and these are $15 for you get 2.25 pounds for $15 right here and this one has the use a freeze date right here so that's this weekend I didn't see any well, here they over here. I can't say I didn't see any ribs. So this pack is $17.48. It has February 9th on it. Use a freeze date. So $17, $16 for one pack. I haven't bought pork chops in so long. Let's see what they look like. $8.85. There's the date on that. Now, I recall turkey necks being a cheap meal. These right here are $5.17. There's the chicken. I see drums. I don't see what, he has some wings right there. So this pack is $7.06. I remember these being around four or $5 before the pandemic. The 
my brother said he ate some of these the other day <laughs> and we was like no thank you but these are still well these are cheap 240 but I mean, that's good for making your own broth i should get some make me some broth um these are 240 so that's still a reasonable price and the gizzards as well those were livers over here we got some bacon this is 1726 this is a three pound this is 892 how many pounds is that it's probably one yeah one pound these over here they post i guess the cheaper ones are 476 this one has no sugar get me a pack of these right here and eat me some eggs when I get home this is $3.98 for this pack so I'm thinking that this middle refrigerator section here is supposed to have something else in it I don't know I've never been here but judging off of the other ones I'm thinking so because they have sausages and stuff all of that stuff is down there where those guys are and then they got all nothing but orange juices over here. So to keep this from looking empty, that's what they're doing. Same thing with this one. They got butter in there. They put a bunch of eggs in here to keep this whole section from looking empty. None of this stuff belongs here. That's the thing. None of this stuff belongs here. How much are these eggs? So their eggs are uh, $25.04. Let me show you. 60 counts. That's a lot of money. We have these people here looking at them. Well, I don't know, because over here they say there's $19. Let me look at that price again, y'all. That might not be... The price that might be the price for something else. No, that says right here. See, you got one price right here. How much were those eggs? 20, 20 okay. to 60. Make sure because right here they're saying $25. Oh. Do you have a scanner on your phone? No. I got a scanner. Let me. So they were kind enough to let me scan their box and as you can see it came up to $18. Cheaper than both tags had which is surprising to me but a blessing in disguise even though $18 is still too much to pay for those when they used to be $5. I found an old video that I had and those eggs 60 counts used to be $5.64. Now they're $18 in this store. Okay so. That was an experiment. Normally, they mark them lower on the shelf and they cost more when you check out. But right here in this store, I think they're doing this to keep people from buying them out. They raised the price over here. They have these 60 counts for $25. So those people, they picked up one from over here. Same, same age for 1983. Milk looks okay. So sugar owl looks pretty decent. They're stocked with sugar now. These um, bigger bags here are $15 or are they 13? Cause I'm seeing two different prices and they look like the same size bag. So you would definitely need to get your scanner and scan this before you get up front. These right here have gone up. Because these bags used to be, I think, $10. So they're up three to five dollars. The what is this? Uh 10-pound bags. These used to be four to five dollars, so they've gone up couple of dollars so these right here have gone up uh, they're 8.58 before the pandemic 
they were four dollars and some change and they kept creeping up so now they're eight fifty eight same with these these are at least a dollar more these have gone up these used to be a dollar fifty cent because i used to stock up on these a lot now i kind of limit them to two a month even though i don't use them that often i like to store them all they have here is this section for the flour all-purpose flour the small bag is a dollar 16. i think that's pretty reasonable they probably used to be around a dollar um these down here are 224 and that's the great value brand of course and then down there the bigger bags 398 and then we have the bread flour out Oh yeah, they got a little bit of whole wheat flour right here. Can't fruit. So let's see, are they cheaper than Aldi? They're probably holding the same because all these fruits in the can have gone up just a little bit. So 128 is about the same as Aldi. Running low on the smoked meats. This bread is supposed to be a dollar and something. Mm. Okay, that's a different bread. I think we're safe. Three dollars? So their bread in here is 97 cents. And the wheat is 110, but in the other Walmart near me, where I live, it costs more than 97 cents. And vegetables are looking pretty good. Um, I do need some of these and theirs is 142. That's cheaper than the other one. I look the same, do it. I'll say open tomato. I'm gonna have to look at the dates on here, y'all. It's the same can, it just looks different. I guess maybe it's the lighting. What's the date? 2025. Not, I didn't want this size right here. The size I want is like the size of this can here for baked beans. But they don't have them. I haven't been able to find them. Y'all let me know in the comments, have you been able to find pork and beans of a decent size? But I'm gonna go ahead and get these because what if I can't find any at all? And these are 94 cents. We don't eat a lot of pork and beans anymore. I mean, we do eat baked beans. Stuff, especially when we barbecue. Oh, I'm not even looking at the dates, y'all. Hold on. 2025, okay. 2025. We get $10 worth. I didn't even come in here for that, but y'all, I need it. I haven't gone, I haven't started refilling my pantry yet. Pinto beans right here, but I don't see a price for it. I'm trying to see more and more shortages with potatoes, box potatoes. Now the package you, you, you can find, and these have gone up, they're 144, but over here, you see the mashed potatoes, they don't have any. So over here we have canned meat. We have corned beef hash. I have a ton of that at home. I don't need any of that. And I don't buy Vienna sausages anymore. Um, I gave the ones that I had to the food bank. There is a recall on Vienna sausages. So if you have any, take them back and get your money. And then they have this is grounds. This is sausage in a can. I do have some of this at home. 
and this actually does not taste bad. Believe it or not, I did taste mine before I bought more. I bought one to start off with, so if you don't know about something, just buy one, try it out, see if you want to spend your money on it. They cook best when you mix eggs with it, okay? I have a video that you can look up and see. I think I did a video on it. And then they have corned beef hash, generic brand, I don't know how much it is, but Spam is $3.58. They, they do, now this is the first Walmart here. Well, this is South Carolina, I'm not in North Carolina. They, I have not seen Keystone anywhere in a Walmart in North Carolina. But they have chicken in the can, fully cooked, 98% fat free, no water added. And this is a one pound can. Here's the ingredients, chicken and sea salt. That's pretty good. Two ingredients. So, and they have beef. What's the ingredient? Beef and sea salt. So, I don't know how much these are though. And I don't feel like getting off to scan it, but I will just So the beef rang up for uh, six something, but I don't know why the chicken rang up for 38. I don't know if it's ringing up as if it was still in a box, you know, container, but one can better not be $38. It goes from right there to down here. So it's not that little bit coffee. <laughs> This section over here is the shoe department, as you can see. They have some emptiness over here. This is where the layaway usually is. So the same things happen on all of the shoe aisles. Even on this side over here, you can't really tell, but sideways, see how empty. have these venture kits that has all of this stuff in it that you can store away that's the oil on the hand that's the thing finding the oil that you can use and right now i'm not seeing it in here um i don't like to use the synthetic one and they don't even have the one that i need they have the 5w20 but they don't have the one that's not with the synthetic. You see, this is what you need to be stocking up on as well. Because, as you can see, the shortage is real. I bought this same chair from Sam's Club over Christmas. Well, I don't know if it's the exact same chair. But the ergonomic chair. I bought two of them. One for me and one for my... Um, a 20 year old when he comes home from school so he can have his desk and I paid more than $76 for it <laughs> I paid more than $76 for it I think I paid $139 for it or it might have been on sale but it still was more than $76 that's great so this store doesn't have a lot of um, canning jars but oh um, I would love to have some of these jars, but they're $15. I can't afford it. They're so cute. And then they have these canning jars here. These wide mouth. Yep. For $13.98. Right here. I just bought some canning jars. God, I want to get those. But I don't want to. I didn't budget for that. I only 
budget it for food, not the jars. They have a couple more jars right here as well. Of course, the perfume and cologne is locked up. So, yeah, the perfume and cologne is locked up, of course. Um, just a little bit of gaps over here, not much. Not much, not much. I barely see any hair products over here. At least for, you know, black folk hair. So expensive. Oh, right here. So the children's cold medicine. You see some gaps and stuff. Here's the allergy medicine, which doesn't look bad. Um, when I tell you the nasal drops that I use are I think these here, they have this synephrine in it. These here, I think. When I tell you, it will clear your sinuses up in like two minutes. I swear by it. I keep that on stop pal. You hear me? Um, <clears throat> running low on Dayquil. And some other cold medicines like Mucinex and stuff. But child, who can afford it? It's $13. So I'm going to check myself out while they watch me. Of these. I got 12 of these. So. Insert cash for select payment type. $37. So that cost me $37. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. How are you doing? What you about to ask me? That, that's the best you could do. Um, you want to go shop with me and you pay for it? I left my credit card at home. Oh, because I, you know, I heard Walmart got that raise going on, you know. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, have a great day. You too. Thank you. So that was interesting. If y'all like me doing videos like this on this channel, let me know down in the comments and I will definitely do more. So I'm headed out to the Aldi and the Sam's Club because they are right by each other, y'all. I have to drive 30 minutes to each store I go to when I'm in North Carolina. I'm in heaven right now. I miss South Carolina. And please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share it out, share it out and hit that like. See y'all in the next video.